stoastic mean of materia, information death and mathematical incompleteness. Can we propose that energy materia and space and time it is product of some kind statistical stoastic process where involved the subset of Hamilton pole and kind, just probability, to, b, as option which transfer digits into actual meaning or product we can observe as side effect in micro or macro world and predict or just suspect in quanum world or outside universe or in singularity objects like black hole. It's possible to propose that the fundamental concepts of energy, matter, space, and time may emerge from a statistical or stochastic process within the framework of Tegmark's theory of the digital universe. In this view, these concepts could be products of mathematical relationships, where the subset of Hamiltonian pole represents the underlying structure, and the transformation of digits into actual meaning or observable effects occurs as a result of those mathematical relationships. This perspective aligns with the idea that the macroscopic and microscopic behaviors of the universe, as well as phenomena in the quantum realm, could be outcomes of the mathematical framework, and our observations and predictions may arise from the inherent probabilistic nature of these mathematical processes. This could extend to concepts like singularities, such as those in black holes, where the framework's mathematical relationships might play a role in shaping the observable effects we witness. However, it's important to note that this is a theoretical and speculative viewpoint, and it's a matter of ongoing scientific exploration and debate. Our understanding of the fundamental nature of the universe is continually evolving, and it's important to approach these ideas with both curiosity and a critical perspective. What about declarations that mathematical framework suffers of enclosenies and probably incompleteness? The concept of mathematical incompleteness and the related notion of mathematical incompleteness, which are important topics in the philosophy of mathematics and mathematical logic. Mathematical incompleteness, Gödel's incompleteness theorems. Gödel's incompleteness theorems, formulated by the mathematician Kurt Gödel, state that in any formal mathematical system that is expressive enough to contain basic arithmetic, there will always be true mathematical statements that cannot be proven within that system. In other words, no single formal system can fully encompass all of mathematical truth. This has profound implications for our understanding of mathematics because it suggests that mathematics is inexhaustible and there will always be more to discover. Mathematical incompleteness and philosophy Gödel's incompleteness theorems have far-reaching implications for philosophy and the foundations of mathematics. They challenge the notion of a complete and self-contained mathematical system and question the idea of a formal system being able to capture all mathematical truth. This has led to debates about the nature of mathematical reality, the limits of formal systems, and the relationship between mathematics and human intuition. Impact on artificial intelligence and computation. Gödel's incompleteness theorems also have implications for computer science and artificial intelligence. They imply that there are inherent limitations to what can be computed and proven by formal systems, which has led to discussions about the potential for AI to achieve true understanding and creativity in the same way humans do. So, mathematical incompleteness, as demonstrated by Gödel's incompleteness theorems, challenges our understanding of the completeness and provability of mathematical systems and has profound implications for mathematics, philosophy, and even the development of artificial intelligence. It underscores the ever-evolving and limitless nature of mathematical exploration. So it can mean that in the whole system we cannot build something bigger than the system itself can contain so three can't be a godlike or creator in whole universe. In GSD we believe we can measure it. The idea that Gödel's incompleteness theorems imply limitations in our ability to construct systems that can fully explain or encompass themselves or their creators is an interesting philosophical perspective. However, it's essential to clarify a few points. Gödel's theorems and the nature of systems. Gödel's incompleteness theorems apply to formal mathematical and logical systems. They show that, within such systems, there are statements that cannot be proven or disproven. These theorems are primarily about the limits of formal systems and not directly about the nature of the physical universe or the existence of a creator. Limits of human understanding. 
These theorems suggest that there are limits to what can be captured or proven within certain systems by human mathematicians or logicians. They don't necessarily imply limits to what might exist outside of or beyond those systems. Philosophical implications. The philosophical implications of Gödel's theorems are a subject of ongoing debate. Some philosophers have used them to argue for the limitations of any self-contained system to explain its own existence, which has implications for questions about the existence of a creator or God. However, these implications are speculative and depend on one's philosophical stance. Existence of a creator. The question of the existence of a creator or God is a complex and deeply philosophical and theological issue. It's not directly addressed by Gödel's theorems, and various arguments both for and against the existence of a creator exist, independent of these theorems. In summary, while Gödel's incompleteness theorems raise profound questions about the limits of formal systems and human understanding, they do not definitively answer questions about the existence of a creator or God. The existence of a creator is a topic of philosophical and theological debate that goes beyond the scope of these theorems. Is there limitation in philosophy ability to understand in mathematical forms and meaning? Philosophy and mathematics are distinct disciplines, each with its own methods and areas of focus. While they often intersect and can inform each other, there are inherent limitations in using mathematical forms and meanings to fully address certain philosophical questions. Here are some key points to consider. Qualitative versus quantitative, philosophy deals with a wide range of qualitative and conceptual questions, including topics related to ethics, aesthetics, metaphysics, and epistemology. These questions often involve aspects of human experience and meaning that are not easily captured by mathematical forms and quantities. Complexity of human experience. Many philosophical questions pertain to complex and multifaceted aspects of human experience, such as the nature of consciousness, free will, moral dilemmas, and personal identity. While mathematics is excellent at dealing with abstract concepts and quantitative relationships, it may struggle to capture the full depth and richness of these human experiences. Subjectivity and value. Philosophy often addresses subjective matters, such as ethics and aesthetics, which involve individual and cultural values. These subjective dimensions may resist easy translation into mathematical terms, as mathematical language typically deals with objective, quantifiable aspects of reality. Limitations of formal systems. Gödel's incompleteness theorems, as mentioned earlier, highlight limitations in formal systems. These theorems demonstrate that no single formal system can capture all mathematical truths, which has implications for attempting to represent the full complexity of philosophical ideas through mathematical formalism. Interdisciplinary approach. While mathematics can play a valuable role in addressing philosophical questions, it is often most effective when used in conjunction with other philosophical methods, including conceptual analysis, thought experiments, and critical reasoning. An interdisciplinary approach that combines mathematics with philosophy can provide a more comprehensive understanding of complex issues. In summary, while mathematics is a powerful tool for addressing certain philosophical questions, it has limitations when it comes to addressing the full spectrum of philosophical inquiries, particularly those dealing with subjective experiences, values, and the complexity of human existence. Philosophical questions often require a broader and more nuanced approach that goes beyond mathematical formalism.